this panel is called Now I Lay Me Down to Sleep. And it's the book, this is the front of the book, and this is the back of the book. This book has some little feet hanging below the book, and this is what the feet look like. So there are two pieces, and you cut both of them out, one's the front, one's the back, and then I used some fusible fleece that I fused to one side, and we'll show that later. The instructions are at the bottom of the panel, and it shows you starting with the feet first, prepare those, and then you'll do the pages. And what the instructions are quite good. It tells you how to place which pages together and how to do it and how to how to sew it. You'll have a total of six of these panels. This happens to be the front cover and the back cover. And this back cover has a place for you to put on there the, who you made it for. And all the panels are outlined in this dark black line and you'll cut out all six of the panels along this dark black line. And this is what you get. You'll get six of these. And the pages are numbered. This is number 10 here and this is number 1. And the instructions will tell you how to put these together, which numbers to put together. The first one we're going to put together is the front and back cover, which is this one, with page 110. This is page 1 and this is page 10. And we're going to put these together. So that's a set together. And the next set is 5, 6, 7, 4. This set goes together. And then the last set of the other two, 9, 2, and 3, 8. What you're going to do first is sew up the feet. So I had the fusible fleece on here, then I put the right sides together and just sewed around the feet like this. Turned it inside, uh, right side out, and then pressed it. After you trim your six panels, you're going to put them together in sets. And we're going to start with the first set, which is the front and back cover. We're going to pair with page 110. So this is page 1 on this side, page 10 on the other side. The cover and the first set that we're doing now, these are a little bit longer to, uh, than the other four panels. That's to accommodate the thickness when you put the other panels inside that the book will cover the other pages. So cut a piece of batting or fusible fleece to the size of these panels and we're going to fuse it to the wrong side of the book cover front and back. Now I fused the fleece to the back and I needed some extra so I just pieced it in there on this side. So you can use up all your scraps. And we're going to put the little feet in here. You're going to place the feet in the center of the back book cover and you're going to match this dashed line on the feet with the edge of the coloring on the book cover and pin it. Then you're going to take your page 1 and 10 with right sides together and place it on here, pin it, pin it down and we're going to stitch around all sides and leave a small opening so we can turn it. Here's a close-up of how you place this. There, here's the stitching line for the feet. And I've got it just slightly below this colored area here that I'm going to stitch a quarter of an inch. And so now I have it pinned and I'm going to stitch it now all the way around and leave an opening to turn. Now I've stitched around all four sides and left an opening to turn. And I've turned it and I press the edges and I find it easier to put the side where you fused to the bottom and then just sort of roll the hem, the fabric over and press it down. So you have a little bit from the bottom showing through on this side but it doesn't really matter. You try to make it as even as you can and you'll see this has a little bit of white around it which I prefer that way 
you know you won't cut off the, um, the page numbers. Let me show you this close up. So here's the page number and here you can see a little bit of the white but that's actually from the top fabric and it's just pressed and if we come look at this part this is where I turned it so if you press it right along that colored line which is your quarter inch so your colored line here the green on this side and the blue and red on this side and then you're going to pin this and when you top stitch you're going to take this in so you want to make sure that looks pretty and nice and flat and try not to press it with your pins in because it kind of creates a little crease next we're going to top stitch it and you see that their little feet are going to be hanging out so when you have the front of the cover like this you'll, the feet will be hanging down when you open the book now here it is top stitched and I like to use a, a seam allowance for the top stitching something smaller than a quarter of an inch because I want to make sure that the bottom part where we uh, sewed in the opening that make sure that that catches all right now what you're going to do is take your other two sets of panels and prepare them the same way put your fleece on our batting in put them right sides together stitch around leave an opening turn it and and top stitch it and then when you finish those three then we're ready to put it together now I have the front and back cover page and I have page two three eight and nine five six four and seven and you're going to lay them down on top of each other and make sure that all the page numbers are correct so this is the cover page one page two three four five six seven eight nine ten and then the back cover and what you're going to do is stitch these three layers together and you're going to line up this center dashed line with all of them and then stitch uh, it's going to be difficult because it's very thick I suggest you use a walking foot because as you stitch it's going to want to push that fabric out of the way so the walking foot also lifts up as you stitch and it makes it easier to move the the bulk through your machine so I'm going to stitch that and I'll show you and then we'll be finished now here's the book all finished and you see it just opens up nicely and all the pages are in order and you just read it to the little child and it's just a real colorful pretty book and you see his his little feet match up every time he he stands here so it's really cute and it's it's very soft it's almost like a pillow so I wanted to show you some other things you can do with panels that we have here's another one and this is put together the same way meaning you have the pages and you put the fleece on one side turn it and stitch it the same exact way this one has little things you can play with you can change out the faces and you can change out the sweaters and mitten, mittens and add friends to the snowman and then you can build your own snowman and all of the little extra pieces go together in this little pocket in the back so you can put all of the little extra pieces in here and they have velcro on them for the little the child to play with so that's cute and that's called snow day or snowman snowman fun so here's the snowman goodies go in the back and it has a little handle to carry with another one and now these are all done the same way but these little uh, pieces here are done with this really stiff double-sided uh, fusible uh, you they're raw edges so you don't have to worry about finishing the edges and turning anything and just stitch the it, this is so in velcro so that that's how those are done and also there's another book from Safari Life this is really cute also done the same way Oh, and I wanted to show you something about this one first. In uh, the huggable one, this one, we stack the three 
pieces all together and stitch them. And it does get quite bulky. In these two uh, different books here, we stitched, it has the same number of panels, meaning six total uh, sets, or three sets of two panels. But these are, this panel right here is stitched to one side, and you can see this little extra space here. See, there's a little space here where this, this is one panel here, and this is another panel, and you stitch this side first, and then you stitch this one here to this side. So that has less bulk when you try to put it together. This one is done the same way. And this one's really cute. It's like a, more activities to do as you're reading. So this says Lion, lions like to roar. Then you open it up and he roars. And then the hippos like to yawn and you open it up and he's sleepy. So this is really cute. Giraffes like to eat and elephants like to wave and say hi and zebras like to hide so he's hiding underneath it says peekaboo and this one also has two finger puppets that you can put on while you're reading your story you can put these little finger puppets on you know the the child can do it or you can do it and so it's got a zebra and a lion and this is from the Safari Life Collection by Moda. This one, Snow Day, is also by Moda. And these Huggable books are from Studio E. And, and the last panel I want to show you is also from Safari Life. And it makes these cute little stuffed animals. So you have one panel and you get four stuffed animals. So you have the zebra, the giraffe, the lion, and the elephant and the elephant has some floppy ears. These were really fun to make and they're just, you stitch them uh, right sides together, turn them and stuff them. I stuffed them with polyester fiber fill, but I'm sure you can use scraps of batting or anything else you like. So these are all different panels that you can get at Carol's Quilt Shop online. So it's carolsquiltshop.com and look for fabric panels. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.